Hello everyone, and uh, I'm here today to uh, op well to basically submit another tutorial, which I'm going back on uh, GIMP fonts. Basically, I found another link, and I decided I need to just go to make another video. And the next video that I will have up is how to do tattoos on IMVU. So, if you see my last GIMP tutorial on downloading fonts and I didn't help or I don't even recall what I did in the video but this video here is basically hands-on and you can download anything you, this procedure can be used to anything to enhance GIMP anytime anything excuse me for downloadable content to enhance GIMP so basically first off you're going to find where your GIMP folder is mine is located in my system folder well it's located in my folder Dread is, is located there I went to desktop and uh, IE, well, for your information, I am working off an operating system of Windows Vista. No, this is not Windows Vista, excuse me. Windows 7, excuse me, please. Home Edition. And uh, back on topic, desktop. And then I clicked on Dread, which your name may be Susie or Dylan or whatever. Uh, click on your name. Well, more than likely, if you name your computer. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, and then once you click on that, you should see GIMP right there. GIMP is right there. And what we're going to do, we're going to click on GIMP. I'm going to open up that file. And we're going to do this first. Make sure you do this first. As you can see, we have scripts available. We have plugins. We have patterns, palettes, modulus, etc., etc. But we're going to be using fonts. Do not open up fonts. You can just keep fonts just as it is, just like that just like that just make sure you know where it is okay moving on you're going to go to GIMP next and let me close this out you're going to basically click on your text tool click on your text tool once you click on it you're going to click on the font box you should be familiar with it uh, by default if you just opened up GIMP it should be sans you click on that box and you get a drop down menu of all your fonts and then below that drop down menu you got your magnifying lenses you got your grid uh, you got your, I guess this is the list you can view uh, the way you view your drop down menu but you want to go all the way to the end and that's to the right and you're going to open the font selection dialog you're going to open that and this step right here is basically for uh, check over is basically to, to check over your work you know what I mean uh, this right here is the list of your fonts but it has a refresh button here so we're going to use that re refresh button where we scan fontless. That's what it's labeled. But we're going to use that to refresh our list once we finish downloading one font, two fonts, three fonts, however you may. Moving on. I'm using Mozilla Firefox as my uh, browser. I downloaded Google Chrome last night because I seen on my home page uh, via IMVU that the some stickers don't move you know what I mean I even wrote a review and I gave a guy four stars because I couldn't move it you know what I mean I've changed my home page to just one image and you know what I mean having my badges at request and so forth so I couldn't move these these stickers so I decided to download Google Chrome I do not use Internet Explorer anymore because it's too much script crashing and like it's I don't understand what's going on with it uh, but Google Chrome allowed me to move those stickers where I didn't necessarily move them I, uh, I'm just saying it's just in case someone else out there had this problem and still having this problem Google Chrome will get it done just go to Google Chrome and go to put away stickers put away stickers and that takes away all the stickers I tried hiding them and everything nothing worked on my villa so I used Google Chrome and I put away stickers and voila I was set now back on topic uh, this link right here I found out yesterday yesterday and is a is a is a GIMP friendly font downloadable content site so basically I'm gonna link this into the description so you have it and basically you just find whatever font you want uh, I'm on fancy curly and it goes from cartoon font all the way to Roman Greek font all the way to the basic fixed width and your sans serif uh, modern day, your medieval, etc., etc. So, I mean, any of your choosing. You pick your font basically, then you click download. It's simple as one, two, three. But you know how I do. I like to help out. And then uh, your box menu pops up, and you want to save file. Okay. You want to save the file. 
and then you get a zip folder under your download box you're going to double click on that zip folder people may do it different but this is how I do it and you get this window which you're not going to be using the readme or the images or anything you're going to be using the actual fonts like you would see a little picture with the letter A on it and you would know that's the font I will click that hold it and I want to drag it you want to drag that into GIMP into the GIMP window that you have open which you're going to drag it into fonts that's going to copy that font to fonts in GIMP so I'm going to go back just to see it's called One Starry Night now I'm going to go to GIMP after I've placed that there and I'm going to refresh my dialog box my font dialog box uh, okay refresh now I'm going to scroll up okay I'm going to scroll down now okay I'm going to just go to use my arrows and I'm going to look for once One Starry Night there it is right there One Starry Night download it easy peasy one two three that easy that's all you gotta do and that's with everything say I wanted to download uh, uh, script. let's not do scripts because I don't even mess with scripts okay let's say I wanted to download brushes it's the same exact way the same exact way so if you learn this you should be good again go to your site click on download on whatever you want to download your, your uh, download box window should pop up double click on that zip folder once it opened up once that window opened up containing that zip folder take the item not the uh, image not the image or not the readme file but the actual text the actual font take that uh, true type file and drag it into your GIMP folder that's open and then you place it into your fonts place it into your fonts folder Hope this has been a some assistance and good day and I'm about to uh, do my tattoo tutorial. Hope you found this helpful. This is Adversity. Check out my channel. Check out uh, my products. Shop Adversity. You know what I mean? Shop Adversity for diversity. And uh, I'm here to help any up and coming developer and everything. Like, uh, yep, all day, every day. We don't mess with Photoshop users. No, I'm, I'm just playing. No discrimination here, but still. Kemp users because we know how those Photoshop users can be. They are very, very prejudiced and they're arrogant. They're pricks. <laughs> Excuse my language. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. It's been a nice time and I'm going to get to the tattooing. Good day.